Hi, here's Steve from TDSWeb and welcome to this tutorial uh, called Simple Chairs. Now, this tutorial belongs to the interior uh, category and uh, like in the tutorial before, we are going to create uh, several chairs and so create uh, something like our own uh, uh, model library. Now, the advantage of a model library is very simple. If you have the models which you need for some visualization, you don't have to do them again. So we'll have several uh, lamps, chairs, and other objects which you can find in interiors like living room and kitchen. And at the end, when we have all the objects uh, which we need, we'll start building some visualization. So we'll grab some photo, or we'll just make something which will be in my mind, some interior, and then there we will be using our model. So this is the reason why we're modeling more than one model. And as you know, you can buy uh, this kind of models, like uh, several pages, like Evermotion, have very nice ones, and like uh, most of the artists do this like this way. They just grab the models, make the visualization, and it's done. So uh, we'll be modeling chairs in this tutorial. Now five pieces, I think one piece per one part, and then the rendering, which will be the last part, so maybe six part, uh, I don't know. And I'll be modeling, uh, modeling again in metric units, and also I'm using in my viewport the Nitro's uh, driver, which is some new future in the Max 2012. So uh, I downloaded a few pictures uh, of chairs. Now we'll start from a simpler one and go to more complicated. And because I don't have a second monitor, if you have a second monitor, you don't have to do this step. I will create a plane here. Now, just a simple plane. I will give one and one segment. Now, press M. And I will put here the reference picture of my chair. Now, I need this because I want to look uh, on it all the time. I don't have to press Alt Tab and like switch between the picture. I will have the reference directly in Max. It will be much easier for me uh, than to model according to that. So check some uh, free slot, uh, diffuse, bitmap, double click, and <coughs> we'll start with this chair. Now check this on and drag it here to the plane. I will change this to shade to see it also in the front view. And also I will change the resolution of this. It's too big. Now, I know the picture resolution is like this, but I also know that the chair should be high, something like one meter. So, uh, I'll make the plane uh, look like this. I'll just double the resolution and divide by 10. And I should have here now a chair in the scale which I want. Now, we can start the model. I will be using box modeling. So I will first create a box. In the middle part, it will be something like a base part for my model. I will change the name to chair 1. I will also change the color to gray. And now this. I think it should be like 7 centimeters long. Now I also know this parameter is here. I was looking on the map how big should be this part. And it should be something like this. It's 44 and the back 55. Press a 4 to see the edges. Oops. Right. Yep. Right click, convert to poly, drag it here. Now we can rotate it a little bit and you can see here is a base mesh. Now, let's go to perspective by pressing P and we can start the model from this point. Now, we'll start the front legs, then the back legs, then these details. Then we go this up and after we'll put there more and more details. So, uh, let's start by selecting these edges here. Or you can select just one and press ring. And we need to connect them twice, but also we need to put them away. Maybe like this. Okay, now the same we need to do with this edges here. So again, connect. Now this value should be a little bit bigger 
because this side is longer than this. So we need a square here, a very simple so far. Now select this, this, and no, my bad. Uh, now uh, we could model all, all four legs and all these parts here, but uh, when we look on the model, it's pretty symmetric. So why not to use the symmetric modifier? So I will just check again these edges here, uh, connect them, this time just once. Press OK. Now select all these polys in this line. Check this. Click Instance. And like this, uh, what I do on the left side will appear also on the right side. So very useful by this kind of modeling. So check these polys and we'll extrude them a little bit. <coughs> like this, it's, it's enough for the leg. So we'll just extrude. Now we we'll select the bottom. Now we can go to front view by pressing F and then Z to zoom. And we'll make the legs long like this. Back to perspective. Okay, I think the legs are long enough. Maybe a little bit more. Oops. Now, uh, if you see the reference picture, like this is a little bit in ang angle the legs too, so we need to move this vertex here. Press top T for top and just move them. It's very simple so far. Just moving, tweaking a little bit maybe. Let's go to perspective and see if we move that enough. No, I don't think so. So again, to the top view and move it a little bit more. And we can check it also in the left view. Oh, in the left view is everything fine. And I think it's enough. It should be just slightly angled, yeah. But when we did this angle, uh, the top is not matching now. This is straight, so again we need to move just a few vertex here. So select this one at the top. Can go to top view again and move them a little bit. And we are trying to match the line of the angle. Uh, maybe a little bit more. No, this was too much. One step back. And I think this should be fine. <coughs> yeah, so we move the leg a little bit, not to make it absolutely straight, and also the base. Uh, from the top view, we also need to move some vertex here. Now, let's move first of all these ones. Just need to make these lines straight. So, just a little bit moving here. And also, is here. The same. Just move it a little bit up. And, and I think the first step is ready. Well, maybe a little bit more. Should be No, it's fine. Should be just slightly moved. Not much. And I think this is too less. Uh, okay, we will move it a little bit more. We want to match the reference as much as we can. Now the base we can leave, I think. Or we can move that too. It's up to you how will the model uh, look at the end. We never have to follow absolutely the reference picture, no. There is a lot of your imagination should be there. Oh, this is straight. So the rest should be fine. I just a little bit move here slightly. Now we'll keep this. Okay, so we have the front legs. Now let's do the back ones. Just a little bit more tweaking here at the front. Now it's fine. Now the back uh, will be the same. 
and again uh, select this and this, extrude it a little bit now the bottom let's go to front oh, perspective put it down uh, now let's go to front and this is too much and we'll just manually move it up move it up and make the angle 2 and this should be fine, the back leg should be fine like this but uh, there is also some you know, curving here a little bit so we need to do that so select these edges here, connect them we'll put here 0 and we'll make 3 connections and now we just have to move we'll move vertex now and make the curve by the way you want that. Uh, like I said before, we don't have to match the reference like on 100%. It's always up to you uh, how the model will be looking. And it's really nice after if the model is looking a little bit different than on the reference picture. So this is just a uh, really simple moving of the vertex here to make some nice crazy curve. Okay. Okay, maybe just this top one a little bit. Okay, now it's fine. So I'm pleased with this result. And now I'm going to uh, make this stuff here, like the centers of this. Now for that, uh, I will again connect this three times, like before. We'll select this and this poly, and inset them a little bit. Probably like this. Now. Select these and these vertex and move them down. Hold on Alt and move a little bit this here because this is a little bit angled. Now the same on the other side. Move it up and move a little bit. <coughs> now simple still checking the polys here, uh, just press bridge and we have this middle part now something similar we will going uh, to do also here but here we just need to make the inset now we'll make an extrude let's go to front and that we'll select the vertex here now we can keep the poly easier and move it up, move it down to make it straight. And now you can move the vertex to make this tr uh, straight, or you will just use the scale tool and move it in the x-axis, and you can see it's going to be straight. Now this is what we want, and move it to touch the other object, or the second half of our object. Now back to perspective. Okay, let's finish the basic shape and after we will do the details. Now, here is going again. Uh, oops, bad model. Uh, this leg is continuing up. So, I will just select the polys. Let's go to front view and we will simply extrude them. I will try to move it up like it's on the picture, like here. And I think it's going to from like thin or thin at the end. How uh, simple to make this? We'll just scale the top. 
scale it in this axis a little bit. Oh, we can go to perspective to see if it's enough. Maybe not, maybe a little bit more. And we can make it a little bit more flat in one axis. So we'll just do something like this. Now, again, we'll select this and connect this uh, probably now four times. So, oh no, three, three will be enough. We will anyway, use turbo smooth on that. And it's going a little bit to the side and then back. So now I will go to front and move all vertex in this axis a little bit. Now I will deselect this one and again, this one and again, and this one and again. Now you can decide if it's enough or we should more. Now I think it's enough. And now the same we can do from the left view. Oops. Uh, left and Z. And again, I will select all of these, move it up, uh, move it back, and this, and this will go a little bit back. <coughs> so we're just, uh, we still just moving vertex like nothing hard, I think, and just making some shape. Like very easy, as you can see. Now the top will be the most easy part. Now you can decide now, okay, it's too big, it's too small, or I don't know. So I think it's a little bit too big. So I will move this a little bit back, and yeah, that was better. Next, we need uh, two more parts here. You can select this and this, make connections. Now we need a space between them. Now the space is actually not a problem. The space we will do different uh, way or not? No. No why? We can make one more. Like he'll be one, he'll be one, and it should be enough. Should be enough and now let's see if it's the same thin. No, this, these parts are more thin like that before. And they should go from the back. No, I, no, not really. I'm just thinking loud. So we'll select this here. In, oops, inset them like this. And also we'll select this and this uh, vertex here and make it a little bit more thin. Like this. Now it should be fine. So still select it and we'll extrude them a little bit. Front and Z. And move them up. Do the same like the part before. And again, select, connect three times. And this part should be the one which should be more straight. So I will move both parts at once. And now I will move just this part a little bit more. Now like this there will be some slightly difference and it should be of course right, more better I will say. We'll have here a little gap, but it's fine. It's always like what I say, uh, you don't have to model like absolutely the same. We can move the gap together later. No problem. Now we have the moving here, we need to go also back. So, like in the first part, like first leg, <coughs> we'll select all of these and we'll try to move them. First, this one and a little bit more. This one, this, and uh, this a little bit back. Yeah, it's no, it's too less. So a little bit more. So as you can see, it's very easy. Just really a simple moving of vertex, nothing hard.
<coughs> should probably match the part before a little bit more in a way that someone will sit there his back should not like be hurting after a while so something like this uh, now uh, we can move them a little bit like this we'll make the cap smaller can select this model here and make it unique well, delete and we can do one more symmetry and move it yeah this now it's a little bit better okay do I have no oh, should be six Okay, I forgot to. Oh, my bad, a little bit. Uh, I forgot to make them more, uh, a little bit thin when it go up. So I need to do it uh, on the top view now. I will scale them. I think it was too much. A little bit here. Now in the front view, I will quickly deselect these ones. Okay, and in the top view. Front view and something at the end will be the result. Oh, front set and a little bit this part. <coughs> okay. Okay, so we have done uh, this and that. It's a little bit too small now. So I'll move it up. A little bit to the side. With this and that, and we can do the top or not? Maybe later. No, we can do the top now. Now to do the top, uh, it's nothing hard, I think. But I think I need to fix it. Uh, fix here a little bit something. I should move it a little bit more to the back. Now to have a better reference picture will be more nice. But because I don't have, uh, I need to do what I have with this one. So the best from everything. So a little bit tweaking here. Just slightly moving back. Uh. Okay, so I hope now it's a little bit better. I'm uh, feeling like you know, you do something and the uh, uh, next day you're looking at it. Okay, I don't like it. Feel the same. So, but the goal is to show you how to do a chair like this, not to make like a perfect chair. I sure I will not do the perfect chair. Now let's go to top view and we will make a box. Make a box oh, like this. Now we can go to perspective and move it up. Cover to poly. Check your gray. I'll make it a little bit more high. Can try to make it a little bit more thin. <coughs> Sorry for that. Okay. Uh, now. Select this one here and connect it. Three times should be enough, actually. I'll move this a little bit back. This a little bit back. And it's slightly, but covering uh, the wall model. I mean, the top. Uh, 
Well, if it's not, we can quickly oops, select back this model here and or better first move this a bit to the front. And after we can select this one here and move it a little bit back. We can sync it inside. Nobody will see what we did before. And we shall have uh, already some shape of chair. Yeah, something similar which we have here. Maybe it's a little bit bigger which we can scale later. And of course, you can make like more work on that model if you want. Well, let's go to left view. And we'll select. Oops. Oops, my bad. On this, uh, this one here, and we will connect this twice. And we can make it a little bit curved too. No, it should be looking again a little bit, yeah, different. Okay, now. Uh, Let's move also this. Now we can apply on this turbo smooth, but we will see what will happen. Now it's too much smooth. Now it's not looking so bad, but it's too much. Now, uh, how to do uh, that would be not so smooth? Uh, we can chamfer the edges, or we can do just this. Or we can do it like first here, and you will see it. Then on the other side, so I will make a cut, a connect here at the end. Now you can see the difference now. See, like there is smoothing too much, here is not smoothing so much. Okay, so let's do it also from the top. Select this, ring it, and now connect. This time twice. Oops, too much. This should be zero. I'm moving this. And now it's what I want. Slightly around on the corners and smooth. So we will do the same like before here at uh, this side. And you can move uh, to make it more curved and stuff like that. Like make this make the smoothing like you want. So we have this here. Now to the chair. We have more details to put there, of course. We will also we can like just check the turbo smooth and voila, it's like ugly. We, as you can see. Uh, Yeah, maybe from a very big distance. Yeah, chair, nice. Okay, so we will not use that so far. We will probably go from the bottom to the top and make more and more uh, details. But we can put like two bursts there and you will see like when I check here and connect once and move it down that now it's probably fine, you see. So we'll keep that there, but we will also chamfer these edges here. Because I hate when something is not chamfered. Like I hate hard uh, edges like this. The hard surface modeling technique is it's very nice, my dad. But For the for my soul, I will also do a lot of jumps here, like s something which is like hitting my eye. Well, for sure, chamfer. Okay, now I will do the same actually at the back, and also do the chamfer, and we'll go like 
from down uh, to top, putting more details that when it's chamfered, it's chamfered uh, right. Okay. Okay, we have the first chamfering behind us. Uh, we can see our result now. Uh, it's different, which is what we want, like at the bottom. Okay, uh, let's move. Now, uh, <coughs> if here to do a chamfer, now if we chamfer this one here, uh, we have triangles. You see, uh, I hate triangles. Like you should, uh, you shouldn't have any. But like sometimes there is nothing like you can do, and you will have them. So here uh, we will just probably use the <coughs> smoothing technique with uh, connecting. But here we can do a small chamfer like this. We we'll select this and press connect twice as you are here and we'll move it on the side. And we will see how much. It's probably a little bit more. in this and yeah it's better now <coughs> I'm sorry I'm a little bit ill so sorry for the coughing here um, we'll also select this edge and the edge on the other side I will keep still my reference there just for sure uh, set to zoom. We'll scroll on that and we'll extrude this. Uh, we'll extrude this just a little bit. Uh, that it looks like it's not connected to the model, but it's uh, inside. Now we will see in a moment what I mean. Like we will make something like this. We will make a hole. And we can say like the model is inside. No, we need to do some chamfers there. So we'll select the chamfers here and here. And it's always possible that I will change something on the model. Like, I usually like something just for a moment and after a while thinking uh, just how to change that. Make this and again, it should be looking a little bit different. Oh, we can press a 4, you see? You see the hole, like, it's inside. It's not connected, it's inside. Now also the chamfer, you can see the effect of the chamfer. Like, it's very nice to model something slowly and everyone can see, like, what step-by-step -step is doing with the model. Okay, now uh, Something similar we'll do also here with extrude. We can do it actually now. We'll select this and this. Loop it. Extrude. Probably not so much like there. Like, don't need holes like hell. Oops. I'm sure this should be fine. I'll select again the borders. Loop them too, and we'll make a small chamfer. So far, it's looking like a little bit different here at the top, but later it will look uh, how we wish and how we want. I hope so. <coughs> okay, uh, next. Uh, next, we can do also this one here. So, loop extrude like this one we can make bigger of course depends on also on the part uh, like what detail you should put there and how it should look stuff like that that always depends on you I'll make a connect once and we'll move this here ok 
Okay, I'm thinking what. Uh, can I try something? Uh, I will ring this one here. Try ring all this way along. We will go by zero here. Make this one. Actually, I like this a little bit more, like when it's not so, uh, like around. And I think this is fine, absolutely fine. Yeah, it's fine. We can try. Uh, we can try to make it uh, this one also from here. Now here we should like ring a lot, a lot of bodies, uh, edges. It's fine. It's again. It's fine. Um, if you don't like, uh, do it a different, a different way. You will see how the model will change now. But uh, with a few clicks, really. See, now much better now. Also, this one, this part here, the back, this here, it's a lot better. I like it more. Okay, sl slowly doing. Uh, and you can see I'm just clicking with the mouse, I'm not doing anything like special. Now, a lot of people think uh, modeling is hard. It's not uh, so hard because... Yeah, it, of course it's hard. Uh, you can say it's easy. I don't want to tell that. At all. But uh, most of the parts are not hard to do. You just have to know how to do them. And that's the funny part, and also the good part of that. You just have to know how to do things, and if you have like the method. I don't like this one here. What I did, connecting something which I don't want. I think that was better. You see this now. Okay, we have a problem here uh, on which we should look. Okay, this is done, this is done. Now, okay, I will deselect here something. Oops, it's pressing something else, so two times back for me. And I will not connect this part. Keep just this part here. So we connected this fine. Uh, actually, it should do a ring here. Thinking, but how will be the best way? So this part, I think we can. Mm. No, I want to connect. We can do the slice. Now, slice is uh, something which I would just use if I uh, really, I don't know, don't know what to do, or I'm too lazy to use cut to. So we'll make a slice plane. Move it here. We can rotate it a little bit. To dissolve and okay, this was too much. And okay, this looks fine. And slice. Okay. Uh, almost everything looks fine and smooth, just a few more details to do, and the first show uh, will be done. It's looking a little bit strange now, because it's not everything like it should be. Uh, okay, uh, we need to connect here, we can do it like just here at the top. Double connect, and we'll move it. Here. Mm. OK, 
okay what happened to my connect yeah I think I turned it off I want it here now it's better now it's better so far I like this model it's like very nice very easy and very nice Oh, we can do here something and there. Also here. Okay, now nah, we we'll select now oh, this one here, and I will do a few more connects. It's just connecting. It's like uh, I don't know if anyone from you was like thinking he will be just connecting, nothing else. Like why I'm watching this. I never thought it would be hard to do. Now this technique is very easy. Uh, now it's very easy to apply, but you need to find your style in this. Really, this is the hardest part. After it's going smooth. <coughs> okay, a uh, few more. I promise, connects, and we are done. We're done with the first chair, um, which I'm very happy. No, I will keep this so far. And <coughs> uh, one more extrude of the edge. I will select all these edges here, and there's probably uh, more in this line. All along here. Again, up. And 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 here one more. We'll hit extrude. Now I will look all around. Hit OK. So like this, this, loop it and apply a slightly small chaffer. And now the chair is not looking like it's inside, but it's like connected to it, like this here, this stuff here. Now you can do, can make it smaller, bigger. It's up to you. Make it your way. Again, the same we can do here. Uh, you don't have to do this. Uh, anyway, uh, detailing a model like this is not so fun, like to make sp spaceship or something like that. You know. I would like to make a spaceship tutorial for that. I like spaceships, by the way. But you should watch, like, triangles shouldn't be on your model. And we probably could use just smooth modifier for this, not subdivision. It's about the artist, like, how he will decide what to use and how uh, he will use the stuff. So again, so like this and this, loop it. Chamfer can do a little bit more here. Turbo smooth and we are done also here at the back. Now I think uh, we can connect the chairs together. Oh, I can turn it off. There, there is a hotkey like uh, how to turn it off and on. I can't remember it now. Now uh, select this one, attach this one here, and now let's happen the magic. Select the element, let's go to front, Z to zoom. Select this element here and move it that it's uh, touch the other. Why it's not in the same? Like this. I will select vertex. So like all vertex in this line. Check weld, and we should lose uh, all vertex which made uh, our shape connected. And I can see that not everything is connected. I guess I wasn't welding this. I was. Yeah, I know. Uh, go here. 
and all dicks and here are polys. There oops. There shouldn't be polys here. Here and there, so now it should be working. So again weld. Yeah, we lose just one. Strange ah here here are more polys. Um <coughs> I hope now it's all of them from the other side. Yep, again. Oh, there is nothing. Here is one. And now it should be okay. So, again, weld. Yep. Now we lost everything and we can apply again to the smooth on that. Check it to old eggs and a chair is done almost almost of course almost oh I forgot oh, here on the top uh, just one quick fix here all these lines here uh, connect and move it up we can also chamfer the tops if you want <coughs> Uh, this is a little bit funny. Uh, okay, this is up, this is down. You see? Very strange. We'll first do just this one and after select. Ah, uh, funny. Oh, never mind. Now it's fine. Now the chair we can turn it for, and you can see we have a nice chair. It's like according to our reference picture here. And now the oops, what is here? This one. Wasn't thinking that I will find something. Oh, I think uh, I can actually delete this. Yep. Or just you will continue the cards. Now, if you find some error on the model, fix that. It's not hard to fix them, really. Just uh, you just need to. You just want. Uh, Oh, sorry, I can't remember what I want to say. Uh, it's really not hard to fix them. Fix it yourself or ask on the forum how to fix them. But I think it's fine. So we'll now make that pillow or the cushion here. Now cover the poly. You can rename this like chair one pillow. I think it's two else. Now top view, vertex mode. And the pillow should go like this one, this side, here, and to the back. Now, perspective. Let's say it's okay, and the rest we can like uh, edit later. Now, we'll move it, move it down. Now, how to do a pillow? <coughs> now, of course, uh, a lot of possibilities now. now. We can go here, select all our polys, and here should be an option like tessellate. Oops, oops. And we'll apply it like this. We'll go to find a relax. Relax. Find a value. Hmm. I don't know. The last part is super smooth. Yeah, now it's fine. Now if just one will be enough. Oh, two is better. And this is the one way. Now the second is 
Oops, I need to deceler, detessellate this one. Uh, we can try to use some other modifiers. Let's say, like when we apply to the smoothies, very bad. We can apply Spherify. We can try to apply Spherify. No, it won't help. Well, like the tessellate option is the best, but <coughs> we can also try do it like this one here. I would connect and put here. Okay, not this one. Okay, from this side. We'll check connect. Make it, I don't know, 12 segments. Also on this line. Here, we'll make. One top view, scale this perspective, scale this a little bit up. Oops, the whole model, not just the edge. Turn the edge, oh. we'll scale this a little bit. Now, still selected, uh, can oh, can apply a small chamfer. Well, so like this, this, and we'll put here. I think just one more poly or edge, and again we can try to relax, relax, relax. I, I like it a little bit more now, and we'll apply to the smooth. I think one is enough now. Now we convert this to poly. Now it's still not looking like that. Okay, let's try to fix that. FFD. Very nice options. I like to use this. Maybe FFD, not this one, but for the first step, we'll use <coughs> this one here. Uh, we'll check the control points. On top view, we'll scale this. Maybe I should use a little bit more of them. Scale this in this axis. Oops. I will generate scale our cache in here. Now oh, we'll convert this to poly again and we'll do this one. Box and let's say we need 555 five, five at least. We need more. Oops, more I think in this and this axis. Yep. Now again, now just play with that uh, Z. Just play with this like. You think it should look, and you will see that at the end you will have what you want. Probably, I hope. Probably hope I will. We're just deforming. I, by the way, saw a create tool as a script for Max, <coughs> where it will be much easier than uh, I do it now. To do this, but it's paid. Now it's not much money. It's pretty. Uh, it's not like expensive, but if you do a tutorial where people have to buy something, not really not. Uh, a lot of people don't like that. So <sighs> I will change the color. So we'll just. Uh, Transforming this in our cushion, well, anyway, we try. Like, uh, we're doing what it's coming in our heads, deforming it very, like, randomly sometimes. Oops. It can uh, look perfect from all sides, of course, like, from this one it could be more deformed, uh, like, from this one. And we'll just play our imagination. 
there should be some chaos there. If someone sit on that already, it could be deformed in this way. So this could go down. So this, this side, and just make um, that what you want, like deforming, 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 and at the end you will have like some chaotic shape looking similar to that on the image on which you can apply again or maybe just smooth modifier should be enough yeah and we have the cache in here and already the chair is done now uh, the last thing which you, uh, you could do here uh, probably apply here, edit poly, poly select no. edit, 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 poly, I don't know actually if yeah, it's now select so like this edge here and try to find ring. Yep, control poly. Let's go to extrude, change the settings to local normal, and we'll extrude this not much one and a half centimeter or so. I'll select these, these. And from the other side, this and this edge, loop it, chamfer ah, a little bit. And now, if we apply the smooth modifier, we have here something like some extra detail. Hard to see because the same color. I think you can make an image of that. Like what what it should be. <coughs> okay, uh, I think pretty easy, huh? Okay, so we did our first chair. Like uh, we was pay atten uh, paying attention to all the details and like trying to make it like the best we could, all the angles and curving and stuff like that. So we're trying really to do like models which we can render from this distance or this distance and all the stuff to them. Okay, I think it's enough for uh, this part, so thank, uh, thank you for watching, I hope you liked that and hope to see you in the next part by some next year. Okay, bye bye.